Hey everyone, it has been a morning, y'all. I honestly did not, I had no idea what I was gonna do Facebook Live on today. I'm supposed to do it on Tuesdays, I had no idea. And I thought about other things, and then Nicole, our awesome, awesome Nicole, um, said, hey, have you thought about the resurrection rolls? <gasps> what a great idea, and I actually had all the items. Um, so this is gonna be a great recipe to make with your kiddos. This is gonna be a great project, and it's a great message, because Easter is coming up, um, just because we're stuck in our house does not mean we don't celebrate um, Christ's resurrection. So this is going to be a lesson. They're going to actually have fun baking, but they're actually going to learn a lesson too. So that's what makes me excited. So the resurrection rolls, these are easy. You have croissant rolls. I didn't have um, the big marshmallows, but you can totally use miniature and it's totally fine. I promise. Um, and then you have cinnamon and sugar and croissant rolls. And that's all you have to do. I already made four of them to kind of um, prepare because I don't really like cooking on Facebook Live, I'll be honest with you. Um, so we're gonna try this. So, and I'll tell you the meaning of everything as I'm doing it. So you need butter. So I already melted my butter and I have my cinnamon and sugar. I'm actually gonna mix a little more. It's two tablespoons of each. I Since I already made a few of these, I like, I really like adding cinnamon and sugar. So I used a lot on my first four. So I'm just gonna add a little more, but the recipe calls, I know y'all are recipe sticklers, um, some, and so you just, all you do is you do two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, mix it in a bowl. That's all you're going to do. And I already washed my hands, y'all, don't worry. I'm going to, um, all you do is you take these, and if you have any questions, Faithy is videoing, because this is her project for today. Um, <laughs> this is a, her to-do thing. Um, she gets to videotape her mom, lucky her. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to put about a third cup of miniature if you have the big marshmallows then you just need eight since i didn't have those i'm just going to go ahead and do this and i'm going to mix it into my um, butter and that's all you do and then you go in your sugar and then now because i'm doing miniature it's going to be a little different and i'll be honest when i made the first four i messed up on them which is the way my world works do any of y'all are any of y'all struggling with knowing what day it is um, yeah, I've been totally struggling with that. Um, yesterday I thought it was a holiday. I don't know what holiday I thought it was, but I told Faith, I feel like today's a holiday. I don't know what we're celebrating, but, um, so I told my, the two girls I mentor, we were on the phone last night and they said, you should just make up a holiday. And so we made up a baking holiday. So here's what we're doing. We're baking resurrection rolls. Okay, go ahead. Um, Linda asked, is that a Tupperware mat? It is a Tupperware mat. I got this, I, I'm telling you, I found this and whenever, the other day, like, oh, few months ago and I was like I didn't even know I had this I think somebody gave it to us for a wedding which was like 15 years ago almost um yeah I love it absolutely love it especially when I make homemade calzones okay so this is what it, it is we have the resurrection rolls so the croissant rolls is the tomb okay I'm gonna see if I can get this right and the marshmallows is Jesus because of purity because Jesus is pure he's perfect and the melted butter is the oils and the cinnamon and sugar is the spices. You remember the oils in the Bible where we see that. And so that's what you're going to tell your kids. This is all about the tomb. So we're going to see, remember after Jesus died, they put spices and herbs on, on them, Nicodemus and everything. Um, okay, and so that, that's what, like, here's your lesson. We're, I'll go more into depth on that. So you're going to do the things, and then you're going to spray this. If you don't have these, I'm sure it's okay. You don't have to have everything. And, okay, so then I'm going to take these. Faith, if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask while I'm doing these. So, again, you have Jesus the pure, pure one. It's the marshmallows. And then you have the cinnamon and sugar as the oils. And, again, I have miniature marshmallows. I think I probably could have used a little more miniature marshmallows. You just do whatever you want. But the main goal is, is we're going to, the end result is the main goal. Because that's what Easter is all about. Easter is all about the cross and the sins that we are forgiven. Isn't there hope in that? I know everybody's kind of worried right now and fear is kind of coming in. Don't let fear come in. We are celebrating. How cool is it that all this is happening? Not that it's cool, it's happening, but that we get to have, it's happening during Easter where we get to celebrate hope. Because I feel like a lot of us are struggling with hope. How many of y'all, can I get a harder like, are y'all struggling just having hope? You just feel like fear is coming in and it's taking over your thoughts and your, your mind, and you're not really focusing on anything but that fear. That coronavirus is your fear, and we should take precautions. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just saying we have hope in Jesus, and we have Easter right now where we can kind of 
refocus our thoughts and our minds on the Lord. And we have Easter to celebrate. So we have the empty tomb. So here's the, here's the tomb. So we have the tomb. And then we are going to take this. And I have a little bit of sugar and butter left. And we're going to kind of... I forgot to do this on my other ones. <laughs> so we're just going to kind of... And last year we did this. And we actually passed it out to our neighbors um, for Easter. And we just gave it to our neighbors and... Um, just told them, asked them if they wanted to know more about Jesus, if they had any questions. Um, we were able to just kind of spread the gospel that way. I know this year it's going to be different because we have the coronavirus and we can't touch people um, <clears throat> or get near them. But it's just something that symbolizes maybe whenever all this craziness ends, you can go ahead and do that maybe next year. That can be a goal. Um, just to kind of share the gospel and share people and tell people about the Lord and how we have our hope in Him. Um, this is a perfect opportunity to tell others about Him. Okay, and then there's your empty tomb. There's your tombs. And then I'm going to wash my hands. Um, Faith, is there any questions? Yeah, you can kind of show those. Faith, is there any questions? Do you have any questions? Not right now. Is there any questions about that? Um, I would love to know because I am going to be surprised if there aren't any questions because that means I actually showed y'all how to do them. <laughs> um, okay, so this is your end result. So we have that. I'm going to cook this in the oven. I cook these in the oven for on 400. For 10, to, or for 10 to 12 minutes. And then what's so cool, here's what you can show, is the tomb is empty, so you get to show your kiddos. This is why they believe in Jesus. Look, the tomb's empty. He died on that cross for us, for our sin. And there's, there's you can't see the marshmallows now. They're, they're just melted, and so it's empty. So you see that, the empty tomb right there. And how cool is that, y'all? And so we're just gonna go through that hope and we are going to not let fear come in, and we are going to just remember the tomb. Okay, Faith, go ahead. Um, uh, someone asked, what are y'all making? This is resurrection rolls. And so what we're doing is these are croissant rolls, cinnamon and sugar, and marshmallows and butter. And Jesus is, this represents the tomb, the croissant roll. And then the marshmallows represent Jesus. And then the melted butter is the oils. And then the cinnamon and sugar is the spices that was at the cross. Someone asked what is the ingredients. Okay, I just, okay, so it's one roll of croissant rolls and um, marshmallows. You're supposed to use large marshmallows. I didn't have large marshmallows, but I have miniature. So I just used about, uh, about a half, a, a little more than half of a cup with all eight. And you just do whatever, how many you want. But you want to make sure you show your kids how the marshmallows, um, how they uh, disappear. And so, let's see here. Okay, yeah, so if we see this, I'll show you all this. See how the marshmallows just totally disappear in there. And then you have the cinnamon, so it makes it really good. You get to taste it, it's good and gooey. But, the, so that's what we're showing. That's the whole purpose of the resurrection, is just the empty tomb. So, we're, and again, how, if y'all are struggling right now, with fear and y'all are just consumed by that fear y'all remember this remember the empty tomb okay croissant uh the croissant rolls that come in here these are the annie ones so they the ones that come in the i don't have the case because it always te tears off and then you have um the croissant rolls eight of them you can double it if you want again these are great i passed these out we passed these out last year to our neighbors i know you can't this year but Last year we did just to tell them. So is there any other questions? Do we have any, any more? Okay, y'all, the recipe is linked above. So you can go to the recipe. And again, how awesome. This is a great, great thing to do with your kiddos. And just to remind, this will visualize the um, empty tombs, which is awesome. Okay, y'all, you have a fabulous and wonderful day. Thank y'all so much for joining. Bye. Yeah, Pillsbury croissant rolls or um, Annie's croissant rolls is fine. Either one. Okay.